Of course, because this is the second week of spring training, which means we're getting closer and closer to opening day for the Cleveland Indians. Kyrie Irving went down to Houston, Texas, represented in the All-Star game. Now him and the Cavaliers get ready to start the second half of their season. Can they keep improving? All of that, we're talking about it and more. This Saturday night, 9 p.m. to midnight on the Sports Fix. Doug Plagans from the Lake Erie Monsters joins us. Jim Rosenhouse from the Cleveland Indians checks in from spring training live. 9 p.m. to midnight on News Talk 1420, WHK, or streaming right here on WHKRadio.com. Don't you dare miss it. You'll be sorry, Daddy. I'm always throwing stuff in at the end. What do you think? Is that good? That's good. You got what you need for the website? Yeah, I got what I need. I'm about All to... right. I was, I'm distracted, too. I don't know how I finished that because you, you saw me. I was looking at the computer screen. My boy sent me this. this. Look at this. Look at this right here. I know wrestling's not your thing, but... Look at this right here, man. Look at those two dudes. Tell me you'd like to come across either one of them in a dark alley somewhere. No, sir. I'm, I'm not even joking, man. Like, right there. Dude on the right is the Tokyo Monster. I'll tell you. First off, let me let me get the, the semantics out of the way. We're recording? Yeah, we're recording. All right. For those of you here in Cleveland, you already know I am the big daddy of destruction. J-Rock, Jerry Myers, 15 years, been hanging and banging in the ring. Now... Still doing my thing in the ring, but I'm also the host of the Sports Fix and news anchor here on 1420 WHK. Jerry Myers now, they call me the big daddy on the microphone, but that's neither here nor there. Let me back to my story. That dude on the right that you just saw in the picture we were talking about, the Tokyo Monster. A couple of years back, I went to a, a prestigious tournament down in Dallas, Texas. There were hundreds of the best... Well, there were hundreds of wrestlers, and some of them were some of the best wrestlers in the world. If you were there, you know why that's funny. But anyways, down there in Dallas, and I met the Tokyo Monster for the first time. Not like we talked, because he's a very quiet guy, and you don't really, you know, certain wrestlers know who to talk to and who not to. But I always make sure I'm a very cerebral guy. I'm a student of the game, and I make sure that I check out every single wrestler on every card that I'm on. You never know who the next big deal is coming through. And I saw maybe eight or nine matches that weekend. Tokyo Monster ended up finishing in second place behind Tim Storm, who is another stud in his own right. I finished in fifth, no chump change myself, but Tokyo Monster finished in second place. Saw him in eight or nine matches that weekend. I came back up here to Cleveland. I said, man, y'all cats be lucky that we wrestle up north because they got this dude, Tokyo Monster. He's tearing things up down south. And, you know, I even said, Ray Rowe, I, I told my boy, I said, man, there's a dream match for you. Raymond Rowe and the Tokyo Monster. And it's easy when people don't know who you're talking about. You know what I'm saying? But so you got the Tokyo Monster. And he's been down there, and I'm keeping track of him. He's got the Facebook page. I've been keeping track of him. And he won the NWA world title a few months ago, and I said, I'll tell you, that's going to go a long way to reestablishing the credibility of the National Wrestling Alliance. And I know there's a lot of people out there that say, oh, the NWA, it's been politic to death. It's been politicized. It's been torn apart by people's own personal agendas and political agendas. I don't want to hear that. Maybe, regardless, maybe, maybe the organization has or not. But the 15 pounds of gold that you saw in the middle of those two guys, the NWA World Heavyweight Strap, I don't care. Any wrestler, any fan, any historian will tell you that that is one of the most prestigious titles in the history of this business. I don't care who's done what recently. I know the people that built that title, and I know the things that have been done over the years involving that championship, the names and the places and the faces, the lineage a pro wrestling history goes through that NWA World Heavyweight Championship. So I knew good things was happening when the Tokyo Monster won that belt. Then my man Raymond Rowe, the baddest man in America. He loves it when I call him that. But he is one bad mamma jamma. We ran together for years as the Cleveland Mafia won every singles and tag team championship there was up here. And then my man Ray and his beautiful wife Samantha, they went down to Houston, Texas. He packed up and started a new life for himself down there. And it took him a while get things rolling. Then he finally started wrestling and I knew. I said, it's only a matter of time before these cats down in Texas get a load of Ray Rowe. They didn't have no idea what was coming. And that's really what happened. Ray Rowe snuck up on him. Ray Rowe, real nice guy. Ray Rowe got to know people and it was hey, Ray Rowe, yeah, we got a spot for you. Then the destruction began. Because Ray Rowe began running through people in Texas like a hot knife through butter. And now a few years into his reign, he owns, owns the professional wrestling scene down in Texas. I sit here amazed. But not as amazed as I was when I got the message from my man a little bit ago. I said, J-Rock, you're not going to believe this. March 15th, I'm challenging for the NWA World Heavyweight Championship. Whew, chills went up my spine. Not just because one of my best friends said that he was challenging for one of the most prestigious titles in the game. But because I knew that on the other end of that title was the Tokyo Monster Cahagas. And I knew 
that that meant there was fixing to be a battle of two of the baddest mamma jammas in the history of independent wrestling, especially in modern independent wrestling. I'm, you ain't seen, the North ain't seen nothing like the Tokyo Monster, and the South sure found out that they ain't seen nothing like Ray Rowe. When these two bulls get in that ring, and they start stomping up smoke, and they start snorting and, and breathing hard and facing off and circling, and the anticipation builds... You have no idea the collision that's fixing to happen. I don't live there. I'm not trying to sell it or whatever. But I'm telling you, if you're a fan and you're down in that area, you guys should put this on pay-per-view so I can watch it up here. If you're a fan in that area, hell, if you're another wrestler and you're not on the card or you're not booked somewhere else, find a way to get there on the 15th because I, I can't do justice what you're fixing to see because Raymond Rowe is the baddest man in America and the Tokyo Monster Cahagas is the NWA World Heavyweight champion when you put those three items in the same place at the same time they used to call me the big daddy of destruction but ain't nothing gonna be as destructive as what you're fixing to see i'm telling you i behoove you be there make sure i get a videotape too because raymond Rowe versus the tokyo monster kahagas is gonna change the face of texas it's gonna change the face of the nwa the National Wrestling Alliance, and it is going to add more prestige to the most prestigious title in the history of our great sport. Give it up one time if you are lucky enough to witness history in the making, March 15th. Give it up one time for the NWA World Heavyweight Championship as the Tokyo Monster battles the baddest man in America Raymond Rowe. Whew, I get goosebumps just thinking about it. You are in for a treat. I'm good. You good? Good for good. you? I'm good. I'm good, baby. All right. All right.